Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Knobles Amusement Resort in Elysburg, Pennsylvania. This family owned and operated theme park has been around since the 1920s and it has some of the world's best wooden roller coasters. They have their own haunted mansion and some amazing theme park food. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Knobles kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. One of the best things about this park is it's America's largest free admission park. So you don't have to pay to come here. It's free to come in and then you pay per ride. And I love that. It's so amazing. They also sell all day wristbands where you can ride all day long or you can just pay to ride one ride if you wanted to. And it's completely free to come here. It's free to park, free to just come walk around. And I think that's really amazing because there's not too many theme parks or amusement parks out there that are like that anymore. This is park 18 for me in the year 2022. So 18 different theme parks and I still have a lot more to come. And I just think it's so awesome getting the opportunity to go around, travel and see all these amazing places and make videos so that you get to watch them. Of course, me and Bon Bon had to get the all day ride bracelet because they have 60 different attractions here. 60 different attractions and I think six roller coasters. Now the only thing that the ride all day bracelet does not count towards, it's the Haunted Mansion. That you have to pay full price for folks. And it's it worth is, it. it's worth it. That's what I was just, it's totally worth it. Yep. This park is massive. And like I said before, they have some of the world's best wooden roller coasters. They've got the Phoenix, they've got Twister, they've got Flying Turns, which is a trackless bobsled uh, like roller coaster. And then they also have like some steel coasters, including Impulse. So there's a lot to actually do here. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited to ride. Are you? I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I also look forward to eating some of the amazing food that they have here. It's kind of like your grandma's food, like potato pancakes, you know, sausages. They have spaghetti dinner nights. Like it's really, really good theme park food. So we're gonna, you know, like I said, ride rides, eat some food, have a great day. I think we're gonna make our way over and ride Phoenix, but I wanted to show you guys the flying turns. This is a trackless roller coaster, the only one in the world. They told us we couldn't build it, but we did anyway. And right now it's not open, it's not running, so we're gonna have to come back. This is one of those roller coasters that are like only one in the world, so we're definitely gonna have to try to ride it. Other than amazing roller coasters, this park also has two of my all-time favorite dark rides and I cannot wait to ride those. Actually, they've been the attractions I've been looking forward to most once I decided I was coming up to Pennsylvania. So it's going to be awesome to show you guys. And here it is, Phoenix. It won the Golden Ticket Award for Best Wooden Roller Coaster in 2021. And I'm pretty sure it's going to probably win Best Wooden Roller Coaster in 2022. I do have special permission to actually record on the rides uh, using my GoPro, luckily, so I'm going to be able to show you guys what it's like to ride some of these amazing attractions. Before, I was telling you you can pay per ride, so if you wanted to come ride the Phoenix, it would only cost $4. $4 and you can ride the best wooden roller coaster in the world. How crazy is that? I'm actually going to be switching over to a chest harness, so this is going to, the camera's going to be attached to me, and that's how I'm going to be able to record on a ride, and it's going to be a, kind of an experiment, because I don't think I've ever done it like this way before, so hopefully it comes out good. Oh boy, here we go. I'm a little scared. <laughs> oh boy! Oh! <laughs> 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 
looks amazing. <laughs> Much too good. Holy moly, the Phoenix is amazing. Honestly, I feel like you should not be coming out of your seat riding a wooden roller coaster. And that's why, I, like how many times, Bonnie, how many times did you come out of the seat? Probably 10 times. Yeah, like literally when you like go like this, you like literally are like kind of like going right up in the air, yeah. but so, so amazing. I love that ride. I hope the uh, footage came out good. And now uh, we're gonna explore around a little bit more. Now that we just got done riding an award-winning roller coaster, I wanted to bring you over to the award-winning carousel. And this carousel is super special because it's still using the brass rings. So if you sit on the outside of the carousel, you see that little yellow box there? You have to reach up and stick your finger in and actually pull out a brass ring. So we're gonna ride it, I'm gonna show you. It's really awesome. This is very, very dangerous, and that's why it's probably such a rare thing to see. There's gonna be rings there every single time. They're gonna have silver ones, but the brass one, if you get that one, you get to ride again immediately afterwards. So we're going for the brass ring. We're going for the brass ring. Look at, that's how it's done. I have ripped my uh, fingernail so many times on this. Yep. <laughs> I love it. It's a little bit dangerous, though. I just love the music that they have in here. So we're gonna ride this, and then I think we're gonna get something to eat. Unless we get the brass ring, then we're gonna ride again. All right, we need to get ourselves a horse, and once you uh, find one, oh, Bonnie's going this one, I'm going with this one. Perfect. Here is my trusty steed for this evening. We're gonna do a good job. Let's go get that brass ring. There's a lion behind me with his mouth open. So once you get done grabbing all the rings, because we're going to get multiple rings, you have to throw it in the lion's mouth. Of course, unless it's the brass, uh, the brass ring. Here we go, Bonnie. Good luck. <laughs> we're coming up on the lion here. Yep, right there he is. I love this so much. As soon as they, uh, oh, oh, they just let him out. Time to grab, here we go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got one. Not the brass ring though. We gotta keep trying. We gotta keep trying. I don't know if anyone got it yet or not. Whoop! No, no brass ring, but I got two. Bon, you didn't get one the first time? Oh, here we go, we got this. Oh, I missed it! Here it is. Oh, no brass ring yet. I think somebody already got the brass ring, but I'm gonna keep grabbing anyway. I'm gonna keep grabbing anyway. <laughs> now we gotta throw the rings back in the lion's mouth. I made it! In total, I got four rings, but I threw the other one back in, but now I'm gonna throw the other ones back in the mouth. I missed! I got one in the mouth, though. Look at her, she's holding it there. She's teasing us. <laughs> and here it is the brass ring i didn't get to win it this time i didn't grab it but i wanted to show you guys that's the one that's the silver tuna marv that was so much fun and even though we didn't get the brass ring i still had a great time now i think we're gonna grab a little snack and then maybe do the haunted mansion or black diamond either one they're absolutely amazing and then we're gonna do the other roller coaster that they have here there's so much but i can't wait to get to the food this is what I'm talking about when it comes to theme park food. Mama's homemade pierogies, roast beef sandwiches, hot sausage sandwiches, chicken fries, hot roast beef bowls, Louisiana pig, hot cheese sauce, pickle on the stick, coleslaw. This is the good stuff right here. 
That whole menu sounds amazing, but I have my eyes on the potato pancakes. They make them in-house here, and they also have handmade pizza rolls. So I think we're gonna go get some potato pancakes and pizza rolls. Chuck's potato pancakes are so good, you only need one word to describe them. Sensational. They've got potato pancakes, of course, three for five dollars. Pizza rolls, nachos, applesauce, Gatorade. Gatorade! <laughs> Take a look at this. I got three potato pancakes, three pizza rolls, and applesauce, and it was under $10. That is amazing, isn't it? And this is like all like really, really good food. I can't wait to dive into potato pancakes. They're thin and crispy just the way I like it, and I am so excited. <laughs> to wash down all this amazing food. I think I'm gonna get myself a good old birch beer, a Pennsylvania birch beer. I can't find birch beer down in Florida, so I have to get it while I'm up here, and it's so delicious, I love it. There's many different ways to eat potato pancakes. Some like it with sour cream, others like it with applesauce, and I am team applesauce all the way. I'm gonna take that, get the, a little bit of that, scoop the applesauce, and uh, Go in for the first bite. There we go. We got the nice crispy outside. That is so good. Mm. Seriously, it's just going to give you such memories of going to the fair. And I just love it. And I love it with the applesauce, like I said. But let me know. Let me know in the comments. How do you eat your potato pancakes? Do you eat them plain? Do you eat them with sour cream? Or are you an applesauce fanatic like me? Either way, I do have to agree with Chuck. They are sensational. Now we're gonna jump from the potato pancakes to the pepperoni pizza rolls. The pepperoni pizza rolls. Of course you guys know we're gonna have to break open the pepperoni pizza roll to see what it looks like on the inside here. Let's see if I can get a little better focus here. There we go, okay, you ready? One pizza roll for all. Ooh, look at that. They put string cheese right in there. I think they put like a whole block of mozzarella string cheese and a little pepperoni. That's good. Honestly, it's all about that breading. Look at that. Pepperoni in there. They must wrap these up daily. If I had to choose, I would probably go with the potato pancakes, but these are still like so amazing. The breading is phenomenal. Mm. And of course, like I said, I had to get the good old birch beer. Look at that. Good old birch beer. I wonder if they make it here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's not from Pepsi, I don't think. I'm not even too sure how to describe what birch beer tastes like. Kind of like root beer, but not. It's not. I don't know. It tastes like birch. All right, enough of the potato pancake business. Now it's time we head into the Haunted Mansion. I am so excited for this. This is it. This is like one of my all-time favorite dark rides. A terrifying adventure in the darkness. And it's a Haunted Mansion. But this one you actually have to pay for. It's $3 and it's totally worth it. Caution, if you are susceptible to seizures of any type, this ride incorporates the use of strobe lightning. Lightning? <laughs> Now, I do have to warn you guys, this isn't like the Haunted Mansion in Disney. It's actually kind of scary, but it is super dark in there, so I'm not even too sure how much I'm going to be able to show you guys, but I'm going to show you as much as I can, and it's more of a, like, uh, sound scares, you know what I mean? Like, bang, chung, you know what I mean? They kind of get you, they catch you off guard, and they're jump scares. I don't know why I said sound scares, jump scares. This ride doesn't use doom buggies, but they kind of do look like them a little bit. Little tiny red carts. And it's so awesome because you actually go right around and uh, you go inside and it's not a short ride. It's actually very long and you're definitely gonna get scared. I, I, I feel like everybody, if it's your first time riding it, you're gonna, you're gonna scream. All you have to do is give them these little tickets and it's time to ride. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> ah!
You got scared. I did. You got scared. I got scared. I screamed. I don't know if I could, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but there's this one scene with a horn gets you every time. It's like you, trail. yeah, you know it's coming, yeah, but it exactly. still gets you. Every I love time. that ride though. It's so amazing. I want, I honestly, I want to ride it again. I would just keep on buying tickets over and over again. $3, $3, $3, just to ride it. Now I think we're gonna make our way over to Twister, the other wooden roller coaster here. And that one I'm excited for. Flying turns haven't opened back up yet though, but Twister's still a good one. You're gonna get banged up though. Yep. It does hurt a little bit. It tosses it's you around. A little bit, just a little bit. A little bit. Oh, look at this. Cosmo is actually out dancing around. This is basically the Mickey Mouse of Disney World, but for Knobles. Oh, this is too good. Look at those dance moves. Alright, now it's time for Twister and I haven't rode this like roller coaster probably in a good I would say 15 years. Like definitely 15 years because the last time we came to Knobles I don't think we rode it, did we? No. No, so <laughs> I'm excited. I can't even remember how bad it is, but I do remember you get banged up pretty bad. Like you get tossed around a lot. Another really cool thing about Knobles is it's actually tucked away deep into the woods and it's surrounded by homes. So like this is kind of crazy, but I love it at the same time. But these are actual homes where people live and right there is a gigantic wooden roller coaster. Like that's crazy, isn't it? It blows my mind and I kind of love it. I wish I lived, I kind of wish I lived here. This roller coaster is much bigger than Phoenix though. Look at how high up that is. And that's a wooden roller coaster. That blows my mind. Look at that. And we're about to ride. We're about to ride this. We're about to ride it. <laughs> All right, we're switched over to the GoPro. So here we go. Oh my Lord. <laughs> ah, it's already pretty jerky. Oh boy, and this isn't even the biggest hill we're gonna climb. The biggest hill is above us, actually. Okay, Twister 
might be the scariest roller coaster I think I've ever rode. Like, like the Phoenix is such a great wooden roller coaster. Yeah, I laughed. I had fun. I was praying on Twister. <laughs> I was praying. Like, like honestly, like the you whole car really came up. Did. Yeah. At one point, really I thought up. I was standing up. Like, I like my 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 my, my legs bent. Like, it, I felt like I was standing up. Crazy. It's crazy. Huh. Oh boy, now we need a nice dark ride that takes us probably to a place that's very evil. <laughs> We've made it to my all-time favorite dark ride, Black Diamond. This is one scary, amazing ride. It's basically about a bunch of coal miners and you actually go underground to Centralia because if you guys have ever seen Silent Hill, the city that's burning underneath, like the, the coal mines are on fire, this is a ride based off of that because the actual town is only five minutes away from Knobles and it is so fun, but also very, very dark. Caution, if you are susceptible to seizures of any type, this ride incorporates the use of strobe lightning and loud noises. Just giving you guys the fair warning. Here comes the mine carts. Here we go. Diamond is such a great ride. Honestly, I don't know how well the video, like the GoPro did in the dark setting there, but I love that. It's like a roller coaster dark ride. And it's so cool, especially with the coal miners and Centralia. I love it, but it, 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 can, scare, it can scare a lot of people. <laughs> All right, now it's time to do some of Bonnie's favorite rides, the Flume. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we're not gonna be the soggy bottom boys today. Or I'll be the soggy bottom boy. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh lordy. <laughs> bon Bon just loves riding these water rides. Like, <laughs> those are her favorite type. Let's see how wet we get on this. It doesn't look too bad. Like Splash Mountain, kinda. Oh, they got a little wet there. Actually, they got a lot of wet. I think I'm gonna bring my camera on, but I'm also gonna bring my GoPro and I'm gonna use my hat as like a little like cover for the, 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 the camera so it doesn't get wet. You know what I mean? I do it on Splash Mountain all the time. It's like a little trick I like to do. All right, H is our flume log. Let's see how wet the bottom is on these. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, <laughs> me and Bonnie just hit heads. <laughs> Are you ready, Bonnie? I'm ready. Yep, I got my hat ready to go. Keep your heads, arms, legs, and feet inside boat at all times. Your boat may stop temporarily, remain seated. Here we go. You raise me up. <laughs> oh boy. Wait a second. 
second. Are there two drops? Because where are those people going? If we're going up, how are they not? Alert. Alert. I just got soaked. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh my lord, it's so fast. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. We're flying through here. We're literally flying through here. Ah, it's wow. dripping water. Oh, oh boy. Literally, I was not expecting a first drop, and now a big drop. Look at this. <laughs> oh my lord. What is this? What is this? We're going, we're, we're in the trees. In the trees. Oh boy, this is it. This is where we're gonna get wet. I've got my hat ready. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the water in here. Oh, I'm a soggy bottom boy for sure now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the hat saved the day though. Like I literally, as soon as I hit that thing, right underneath the hat. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Thank you. <laughs> Bonnie's trying to talk me into going on this ride right here. But to be honest, it's not my favorite type of ride. <laughs> I don't got a good feeling about this. <laughs> oh boy. Look at this. Bonnie, what did you get me into here? There's fog, green lights, ACDC. <laughs> well, look at the fog come pouring in right now. I'm gonna take the hat off because I don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! What? I think it's ending. Oh. Oh. What did you do? I didn't like that. <laughs> I, I feel very, very dizzy right now. Bonnie, how do you like that ride? I don't know, I always like those rides. <laughs> how do you like that ride? <laughs> Another fun fact about Knobles, it often floods here. Like the whole park is flooded and if you look, here is the height measurements for the different floods over the years. 2000 floor, the water was up to here. 2011, the water was up to here, which is basically at my neck. So if I was standing down there, I would be like five feet deep. <laughs> five feet deep. Oh, Bonnie, you got soaked on the flume ride. I did. <laughs> I do want to point out that these water fountains look very sus. Like, I don't know if I would do it. I dare you to try the water, Bon. I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it, look at this. Maybe it's very good well water. Oh, look at that. It's like Old Faithful. Now, I do not suggest trying the water from the well water fountain. They're not even water fountains, they're just like spigot. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as Florida water though. And now I feel like I need to get something to kind of take that taste away. 
Earlier we were over here and I was eyeing up that roast beef sandwich. I think I might get a roast beef sandwich and maybe Bon Bon, you want a hot sausage sandwich? Sure. Yeah, you want hot sausage? <laughs> Take a look at the food we got here. We got a hot roast beef sandwich. So we got a mashed potato bowl, chicken, corn, gravy, and a hot uh, Italian sausage with peppers and onions. This is so awesome and so treat, like so cheap. I don't know why I said treep. Treep. It's so treep, I say. And uh, I love it. The food here is phenomenal. Let's start off with the uh, hot roast beef. It's like a hot roast beef there. And also, they have special nights here. So they have like meatloaf night and all you can eat spaghetti night, uh, fish fry. Like it's so cool. And it's like a whole bunch of like grandmas back there cooking the food and I love it. They're making the roast beef sandwiches. So here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. That ain't like uh, Arby's right there. That's some good roast beef. All right, now we're diving into the sausage. Going all in here. Seriously, all this food just reminds me of like a church picnic. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a tr like you know, it is so amazing. I love it. I could, I could just come down here and have dinner. If I live close, I'd just stop in on Fish Friday or Meatloaf Night. I want to come to Meatloaf Night. This is what I was talking about before. Saturday and Sunday are meatloaf days. $10.75, you get stuffing and two vegetables. Wednesdays are all you can eat spaghetti nights for $10.25. Barbecue chicken dinners on Saturdays and Sundays. Fish Friday on Fridays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. I love it. Like this is some good stuff right here. All right, now that we got ourselves some roast beef sandwiches and Italian sausages, I think we uh, hit up another roller coaster. Now they have Impulse here, which is a steel coaster that has one of those uh, drops where you actually go straight up and then right over. I think that would be fun. And also they have a building called the Loaf because it's in the shape of a loaf of bread. Look at that. Isn't that a fancy loaf? <laughs> it's the, the name of the building is the loaf, but it's the cookie nook that's inside of it. And they also have Dole Whip. Stay cool with Dole Whip. So they got Dole Whip in the cookie nook in the loaf. <laughs> All right, well, I think Bonnie is trying to call it the end of the night for me here. She's trying to call it. I'm still soaked from the flume ride. My hat's soaked, my shoes are soaked, and uh, I am a soggy bottom boy, but she wants to do the skaloosh. The skaloosh? Sploosh. Sploosh. I thought it was a kungaloosh. <laughs> Before you ride the skaloosh, please read, no one impaired by alcohol or other drugs can ride. And uh, this one, there's no, there's no hiding. There's no hiding. You get soaked. <laughs> We're already soaked. So we'll probably call it a day after this. Let me just elaborate for you guys. I would never ride this ride if it wasn't for you, Bonnie. I would never, like never ever. <laughs> okay, so look at this splash here, guys. This is, this is about to be us here. Oh my Lord. I am gonna be soaked. I'm so happy I have the GoPro with me though, but this is intense. Oh boy, Bonnie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm getting so giddy because I know I'm gonna get soaked. But look at those beautiful Pennsylvania trees right there. Oh boy, here we go. No turning back. Oh, look at that sunset. This is beautiful, actually. We're getting soaked! Oh my lord! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Oh my lord! I think we're gonna stand and get ourselves a little splash. We're gonna stand on the bridge here. I'm gonna set up the camera. All right, here it comes. Get ready, Bonnie. Oh, my Lanta! 
<laughs> oh, look at my, I am so sunburned. Oh my God. <laughs> look at that. Holy moly. And with that, I think we are done here. I am soaked, sunburnt, but I had so much fun. It was a great day. Great day. Good food, amazing roller coasters. I hope the GoPro footage comes out great. This park is such an amazing place. Like I said, it's free to get in here, super cheap, affordable for families, and it's just, it's top notch. In my book, it's top notch. More theme parks to come. We're gonna be traveling around, some in New Jersey, some in Pennsylvania, just enjoying the life, you know? Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.